Thank you. Can you hear me now? Yes. It is just so beautifully done. And one of the things that I noticed was as we generally send our children to church in their Sunday best, she sent him in his finest with the cufflinks and the beautiful room um, to show that we live like that. We take care of our own, we take care of our children. Was that also part of your creative choice? It was, I mean, it was a couple things. One, it, it, was, it, was, it was accurate. Yeah. Um, you know, Emmett dressed to the nines and so did Mamie. Mm -hmm. um, and it was also accurate for black folks in the, at that time period right. in that part, of, in, in Chicago. But also our, my incredible costume designer, Marcy Rogers. Amazing Killed costumes. it. Yes, <laughs> it's amazing. Killed it. <laughs> and she, she's a black woman who's from Chicago and has mm. family, and his, her family's originally from Mississippi. So she's uh. like, every, every piece of her being mm. was committed to getting every detail of the costumes meticulously perfect. Yeah. And she did that. And so it was, it was definitely a creative choice between us to make sure that we put all the black people in vibrant color palettes, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and to, to kind of visually communicate the beautiful vibrancy of yeah. black folks. You yeah, know? it came across. Um, now, my understanding is that the movie took decades to get made. It's the first feature film about Mamie and Emmett. I only know that because Whoopi's been talking about this for at least 10 years, mm -hmm. for at least 10 years. Um, and, and she tried to get it made. She's one of the film's producers. Now, do you think it's significant that it took a black female executive, Alana, uh, she's the head of MGM's Orion, to champion the story and hire a black female director, you, um, and finally get it made because she had the ability to green light it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know her. <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 it's no wonder that a film that from top to bottom, from the exec level to the creative decision, all are black women that we all galvanize to tell this story about this black woman and mm -hmm. to center her and her point of view and her journey. And, and so, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, it's no accident. No. <laughs> now, um, talk to us about Danielle uh, Deadweiler, who plays Mamie um, so beautifully. Why, in your view, was she the right choice? Because I can't see anyone playing it now, right? Y'all, Danielle Deadweiler. <laughs> she her this is no hyperbole this is not because it's my film but it is one of the greatest her performances I've ever had the honor of witnessing yeah. every single take of her was excellent I mean excellent I mean to the point where there were some takes where we just forgot what we were doing. <laughs> and, you know, like, I had to remind myself, oh, God, we got, you know, the, there was some moments where myself and the crew gave her a standing ovation. Wow. She channeled Mamie. You know, she simply sent an audition tape. And it was, we had spent months looking for our Mamie. Mm. And I wasn't familiar with her work at the time. And I was like, who is this? I usually cast for eyes. Mm. And her eyes communicated so much emotional huh. depth and nuance. She can hold a frame without saying a word. Mm. And it, she, 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 the, uh, the audition tape she gave was without having read the whole script. It was just like a couple scenes. And I was like, what the, where did she come from? <laughs> and then we did a callback and she killed it even more. And then she read the script and I was like, damn. Like, <laughs> okay, you're Mamie, done, <laughs> done, done, done. Wow. We spent a few months really diving into the research and but also going through every single emotional beat in the script from top to bottom multiple times. So she, by the time who, when she came to set, she had such an inherent understanding mm -hmm. of who Mamie was on such a molecular level. Mm -hmm. And so we were able to really make some bold artistic choices um, on set. Um, and, 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 she, and she was so present and just, I mean, she just really channeled something and, and you, she gave her whole 
body and soul and spirit to the performance. Oh. And you just, you just don't see that that often. Right. She is a star. Oh. A star. Beautiful. I agree. Yeah. Thank you. Danielle Deadweiler. Y'all are going to know that name. I know her more. Um, now we have another clip. Can yes. You set it up for us. So I'm so excited about this scene. Um, this is a scene between Mamie and um, another Shiro, Merle Evers. And Merle uh, is an activist in her own right, and she's also married to Medgar Evers. And so the scene that we're about to play for you now takes place in Mississippi during the trial, and you see a beautifully quiet moment between two black women connecting. And it's something that I just don't think that we see often on screen, and it really shows their humanity, and um, I'm, I'm really excited to share it with you. <laughs> 